Hi everyone, this is Orchid. Today I'm making a glam lampshade for an old lamp I have. I'm punching circles into embossed vinyl. This is my 2 inch punch, picked it up on Amazon. This is the 1 inch punch, was not really comfortable to use, wasn't sharp, that was really the issue with it. This is the embossed vinyl, it's only um, embossed on one side, so I'm going to have to punch out a bunch of it because I need to glue pieces together to make sure I have the silver on both sides. Using the two inch punch was fairly easy, as you see there. The one inch punch was another story. I, d I don't think it was very sharp. And even though they said this was supposed to be um, kinder to your wrist, um, this was not at all easy to use. So here are my um, two inch circles. I needed to glue them together. I used the E6000, but I found out later on that my, my glue gun would have been much, much better, much easier. With this, I had to put them, weight them down, and then wait for a few hours for them to dry. Now I'm going to be putting these together, just punching holes using a very large needle. And I do two at a time and I, you know, to make it go faster and also to align the holes in the same area. It's a circle so it doesn't really matter. And I'm using wire to put them together. Now that that's my design there that I'm going to hang around the shade. Remember it's a lamp shade I'm doing. Make sure when you are working with the needle and to punch the holes and also to put the wire in, you have no lotion on your hand because things are going to be slipping like crazy. That's what happened to me here. So if my hands look a little ashy, it's all deliberate. So I just insert the little pieces of wire in, then I fold them over on the side that's going to be on the inside of the shade that it won't show. fairly easy then I just cut away the excess the regular scissors you can get this wire in like Home Depot guys So that's what it looks like once I was done. So I ended up doing I think like 12 of these to go around the, um, the, the, the lampshade. That's it right there. And I'm just now attaching them all around the perimeter. This is not a project you can sit and do one shot. You need to spread it over a few days. It's very time consuming, but um, I was very happy with the results. Now, in terms of the, um, the stuff I'm gonna have hanging in the center, I use these one inch mirrors but the, some of them were gray on the back and white so what I did was use those one inch circles I made and glue them on the back so that um, it, that doesn't show. Now in terms of the gems, these are Dollar Tree uh, gems and I am simply gluing them onto regular thread. This is outdoor thread so it's a little bit stronger than regular thread. When you use the hot glue gun, kind of press, use the tip of the gun to press the glue onto the gems um, so that they it, it holds onto it. There it is. So it, it works, guys. It works. You don't need to get fishing wire if you have um, very strong thread. Now, this is an issue I had because I did not like the glue showing on the back there of the silver thing. So what I did, I pulled them apart and then I glue, I kind of sandwiched the thread in between. So this is me hanging those um, sequins that I hung on the thread onto the shade. And once I tied it, I used the glue to kind of seal it so it stays in place and doesn't slide up and down those, um, the um, wire right there. 
I also added extra wire so I could kind of beef up the um, inside. Now this is the lamp I'm going to use it on. I've had this lamp for maybe like seven years. The problem was the um, electric contraption right there that's black. I didn't want it showing through so I decided to spray it silver. Didn't have any silver paint so I did, I'm using my mirror effect but I'm going to use the white as my um, primer didn't um, make sure you cover the lamp so you don't mess it up I love this lamp it's old but I do love it here she is at the end guys time consuming I will say I didn't do this in one sitting I just took my time and do it over a um, few days I also glued the mirrors um, the little one inch mirrors onto those one inch circles that I have there I thought it kind of, you know, kind of add to the bling effect. So let me know what you think, guys. Always interested in getting your feedback. That's it now with the light on. Just to give you a close-up. It really looks great in the rail, guys. It looks absolutely gorgeous in the rail. It's amazing what you can do with embossed vinyl. This is the kind of fabric you find in the back of the store that no one wants. And I think I was lucky enough to get remnants for like a dollar something a yard. But if they're not on sale, it's about $10. Thanks for watching. Bye now.